What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Trading to Bills. Before we go into this video, guys, I have to give a huge shout out to a friend of mine. Uh, he's called Alex, he just made a YouTube channel. So, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description down below. If we manage to get him to uh, over uh, 100 subscribers, I'll try to post this series every single day. And yeah, so basically, uh, make sure you guys check him out. He does some really awesome content, so definitely check him out. Uh, give him a subscribe, and yeah, let's get straight into this video. As you can see here, a couple days ago I actually posted a video, or not a couple days ago, but a few days ago. posted a video about uh, Kabai. Trading him, uh, trading with him from C center midfielder to CAM. Uh, so I did that. I picked up like I believe I picked up around 10, 15. I, th I think I picked up like around 15 of him, and it's been working so well. You guys, all of, many of you guys have been commentating uh, or commenting uh, on that video, saying like this m method helped me out a lot. Trading with Kabais and CAMs is so easy. You guys should definitely try it out. He goes for around 3,600 coins right now. By this time I traded with him, he went for like 2.7k, 2.8k, but he actually went. For for like 3,000 or he goes for like 3,600 right now uh, while I recorded this so he's definitely going up in price because of that video and yes I basically did the same thing with Amante here converting him from CAM to CM and it's been working so well it's been just insane trading with them um, with the, the converted position these days is so easy and so effective and yeah these are 30 players uh, of these uh, right here I believe uh, it, I don't believe it I don't think it's 15 of each I think I picked up a bit more Diamantes than Kabais uh, but yeah, it's really easy to pick them up as well. Just search them up in that position and see if you can pick them up really cheap. And definitely, you can even buy them. Uh, half of these players are uh, like bought on an open buy, like buy now. Not even, I haven't even bid on many of these players. You can really find these guys on open buy now. And it's super, super easy uh, to pick them up. So definitely give it a try. And yeah, so as you can see here, we do list up every single one. Uh, for around 3,600 or 3,600, 3,700, 3,500, 3,400 uh, for overnight. So I was hoping everyone would sell, and as you can see soon, uh, they will. So that was really, really good. I had to relist a few uh, players, but that was like just three, four players, and they I just listed them basically for an hour, and they sold. So I like checked back on these players like really early in the morning, though. Uh, but these players here can easily sell overnight. That is the good thing with these players right here. Uh, and informs, like convert the players and informs are super easy to sell overnight. So that is um, that is something you guys should, uh, should think about if you're sometimes ever going to trade uh, with um, with uh, converted players or uh, or informs. So uh, definitely list them up overnight and they will definitely sell. So as you can see here, we do re remove everyone from the transfer list right here. We do remove all the Diamantes and Carbys. So that is really, really nice. Um, and then we'll go into the next batch of trades right now, I believe it. Yeah, actually this is really interesting. As you can see, uh, right about now, I think, yep, right here, as you can see, I picked up some colorful cards. I picked up this Buckley inform here, really cheap. I picked up that Halish there, Samaras, and um, some other players. Like, I try to pick up every single, like, every single card, or, um, like, every single color of, uh, like, you know, the card. Uh, but I didn't manage to pick up a gold inform. Uh, and I believe I did manage to pick up. Yeah, I hang on air. No, not a. Did I pick up a team of the season card? I will. I think I did. I think I picked up a blue card. Let me just quickly see. Yeah, I actually picked up a blue card as well. Probably I missed a card here, but anyways, we almost pick up like every single card. So that's pretty funny. As you can see, every do list them up, and this Alish here, I could have listed him up for more because he went for like 65k. I thought that was a bit overpriced, but the next day he was going for like 60 and 9k. So I don't even know. I listed him up a bit cheap, but that happens at times. Um, that Samaras there actually had to release in the morning uh, because he didn't sell, didn't sell the first time, but he did sell during that day. So you know, guys, whenever I record my videos, I just wait for everyone to sell. I'm not sure you guys that have to release some players. So uh, every time it's like you guys are asking how are you or some of you guys have been asking how do you players sell like straight away? They don't. Like I have to release a few of them. And then check back the other day and then realist if, yeah, as I said, realist a few of them. But I don't record the clip until everyone has sold because I, don't, I just don't think it's good. Like recording uh, or just adding in a video like players that didn't sell that after realist and stuff. I'll do that off camera. But hey guys, thanks for watching this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out my friend Alex in the description down below. I'll see you guys tomorrow and goodbye.